Hi, this is Mr. Bryant, and this Image Enhanced podcast will walk you through an example of using Logger Pro 3.5 for making a graph in physics. Begin by launching the Logger, 3 point, Logger Pro 3.5 program. The icon for the program looks like what you're now seeing on the screen. After a few seconds, you should see a screen similar to this. This is the main Logger Pro screen. If you're making a graph from data in physics, you can now begin entering X and Y data in the X and Y columns on the left. Do not include units, just the numerical values. Please note, often in physics, the x-axis will represent time, and it will in this example as well. A sample data set of displacement on the y-axis and time on the x-axis will be used for the remainder of this tutorial. As you can see, the data have been entered, but the graph that the Logger Pro 3.5 program makes is very tiny and in the bottom left corner. To make the graph as large as possible, while still making the origin visible, we will use the Auto Scale function. Go to the Analyze menu and choose Auto Scale from Zero. Notice the data points are properly scaled to fill the entire screen while still allowing the origin to be seen. You can also access the auto scale from zero function by right clicking if you have a PC. Notice how the software automatically connects the data points with short straight line segments. This is not representative of nature and we should next work to disable the connect the dots feature. Go to the options menu and select graph options. The menu will allow you to change many things about your graph. For now, uncheck the box by connect points to remove the connect the dots feature. Also check the box next to point protectors to make sure your data points are more easily visible. The example is shown. You should now add a title to your graph that describes the physical situation represented by the data points. What's actually going on? What do these data represent? Since the position data were taken by a motion detector in this example, and the motion detector detected the position of a tiny miniature basketball thrown vertically into the air, I have chosen the following title, Vertical Position of a Tossed Ball. The title is entered on the Graph Options menu. We must now label the horizontal and vertical axes appropriately. Go to the Data menu and choose Column Options. We'll label the x-axis first. Since the x-axis represents time, I chose time for the name, a lowercase t for short name, since that's the conventional symbol for time in physics, and seconds for units. A similar process is done for the y-axis. In this case, name is vertical position, short name lowercase y, since x and y are the conventional symbols for horizontal and vertical displacement in physics and units would be meters. The result of both sets of labeling is shown. The final step for the graph is to try and do a bit of analysis on the data. Many physical phenomena are related linearly. That is to say, if the independent variable, the x-axis data, increases, the dependent variable, the y-axis data, increases proportionally to the independent variable, and the graph will be a straight line. The data set in our example, however, is obviously not a straight line. So what is it? Maybe you already recognize the shape of the graph as a parabola. As you have learned in algebra, a parabola is defined by a quadratic equation. Logger Pro 3.5 will allow you to fit the data points to many different types of equations and curves. You should try and fit your data points to an appropriate curve anytime you make a graph. There are two ways to open the Curve Fit menu. Either go to the Analyze menu and choose Curve Fit, or simply click on the F of X equals button on the menu bar. This will open the Curve Fit menu. Select the type of fit, automatic by default, and general equation you want to try. In this case, I chose quadratic, AT squared plus BT plus C, since the data looks parabolic. Then click the Try Fit button to see the result. If the fit looks like it passes through or nearby most data points, click OK to see the result on the main graph window. The software will also bring up a text box that lists all the coefficients of the equation that the software fit to your data. 
Congratulations! You're now ready to save your graph and print. Save the file in a directory that you will be able to access again, and then print your graph. When you choose the print command, a short menu will pop up asking you if you would like to print a footer. Check the box for yes and enter your name and class information in the appropriate boxes. Go ahead and check all the boxes. If you need to insert a finished copy of your graph in a Word document, simply right click on the graph, copy, and paste it in the document. If you're using a Mac, you can simply click on the graph and drag it to the document. Thanks for listening, and if you have questions, please email Mr. Bryant at bryantm at hoban.org.